am the princess. Good day everyone, it's Peachy and welcome to my next new game! Alright! Good day everyone, it's Peachy and well now that we've got the intro started and played I think it's time that we get started with my next new game as you could probably tell from the last two. Okay so a little backstory really quick, I originally completed this game however um, since my memory card had to recently format itself I lost everything including data for this so it's going to be a lot of fun replaying this and I did play over it again. Because you can tell that I've gotten Route 66 once again. But anyways, we're going to start a new file. And it's kind of funny because you can actually have 99 files. And I thought, oh my gosh, 99 people can play this game. And I figured, let's get everybody. Even though that's probably impossible to do. So for today, or this game, I'm actually going to be doing file number 11. Why? Because it's going to be awesome like that. So we'll find out who our character is for this later. But anyways, welcome to the main menu! So I have had a lot of fun playing this game. But anyways, it's time to get started. So we have one player, extra options, and two player. Majority of the game will be dedicated to the first player as always. Extras and options will be covered near the end and then two player. I'll see if I can get somebody as a guest to play this game with me. But um, yeah, let's not dwaddle because we need to get this game started IMMEDIATELY! Right now, IMMEDIATELY! Okay, so in one player you have the basic story mode and then the tutorial. Um, I will be of course showing the tutorial, but you know, I usually don't show off how to play the games because you know, that's what I'm here for, but I figured that Maybe this game, for those of you who are new to this, actually want to see a tutorial. Um, yeah. Anyways, now that I'm just rambling, let's... Okay, now the story mode is actually consisted of four characters. Or, well, I should say four teams. As you can see, we have Team Sonic, Team Dark, Team Rose, and Team Chaotix. Which, when I was younger, I called Chow Ticks because, you know, I thought of the Chow stuff. Um, this was actually my very first Sonic game that I ever played in full because... Um, those, what do you call it? Sonic, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Knuckle and Knuckles or whatever. I didn't really play those at all, but I'll get into more detail once we begin the game. But anyways, uh, Team Sonic 
is actually kind of the hard mode of the game. You may consider it to be or not, but I'll let you decide. But according to the game, Team Sonic is hard mode. Team Dark consists of what was it medium? I'm not medium. Normal mode. So, but I always felt these two were kind of averaging the same. But you know, the whole game thinks that this is the normal mode. So, I guess we'll just have to stick with that. Team Rose is. As I can, you can very well tell, this is the easy mode of the game. Why? Well, you'll notice it after we get playing. But yeah, and then Team Chaotix is actually combined of medium, like not medium, kind of like the extra modes you do. Remember, like how I play Mario Party? You have the main part of all the boards. Then you have like side stuff to do, like playing the mini games, playing Card Party, or whatever. This is what Chaotix is here for, so they're kind of like the extra mode. But, you know, there'll be fun times with these. But yes, these are your four available characters. Characters, there I go again. Teams to play with. I will be playing each team in full, the whole story mode, so there will be no skipping at all, so no worries about that. Um, I think that's it for everything that needs to be discussed in the introduction so let's get going with the tutorial because we need to start playing We're up. You can count on me. Okay, here we then of course everyone's like yeah you picked me I'm so excited okay so stage zero Seagate practice team action Hello, I'm oh hey Alma Chow You would learn a lot! Oh my child, in case you're wondering who that is, is like this weird robot. Okay, so here's your speed formation. They're usually the blue color. Their character is the person and the leader. Yeah, so as you can see, blue means Amy's the leader. Red means power, strength, of course. Speed, I messed up, but you're supposed to go fast. Flying, you just stay airborne for a while, so. That's what those symbols are saying. They're usually saying like recommend, recommended for this area. These are automatic gates. You'll switch to that character automatically. But of course you can just switch them yourself with either X or Y. The Gary Blue character is a leader. Okay. So I'll just basically go fast. Okay, now the homing attack is actually just a uh, regular attack. Just boom! Fire at people. Like that. It usually takes aim automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. Rings are basically your life for Sonic. I know it's weird that I'm playing a Sonic game, but I figured that it was appropriate for the occasion. But yes, make sure you have plenty of rings because if you have zero, it's a game over and you have to start back from the last point you were at. These are the bad guys! <laughs> I like how that explanation is doing that. It's really easy to attack them, huh? Well, that was simple, I guess. But then again, this is a tutorial. Yeah, so as you can see, like, I was trying to collect those rings to get no game overs in this game. But well, hopefully we don't. Oh yeah, Rocket Excel. It's way cool, is it? <laughs> oh, oh, my child, trying to stop. Stop sounding like you're all that. I know me and my brothers always found oh my child to be very annoying. So it's like oh gosh, please hush. I actually like shooting him or her, whatever, in Sonic Adventure 2. Yes, yes, thank you for the explanation. The level up feature.
Yeah, so just collect those um, power cords, that way you can increase your character's strength. You can check them out. I don't want to check them out, Omo Chow. Fly formation basically recommending that you jump with A and then press A repeatedly to uh, glide, I guess. Well, not glide personally, but I guess fly momentarily. When the gauge is empty, you'll drop. Well, then why did you give me the ability to fly if you were going to say that? Okay, so Thunder Shoot, you just basically need to jump and fire. When you need to aim for high places. And it's Team Blast time, if you know what I mean. No, no um, difficult task. What I just used is a Team Blast and it will become distinguished in full detail as the game progresses. But for now, you know, this is just a tutorial. So it's a lot of boring stuff. If you see blockades that normally can't be destroyed by the other characters, you just use the red character to bust through those blocks. Don't be sorry, this is a tutorial. Oh yeah, of course I'm a quick learner. <laughs> wow, you're like impressive. You're all smart and stuff is what I heard. I just defeated them, couldn't you tell, Omo Chow? Oh yeah, then if you fill those up, you'll actually get like... Okay, Team Blast! Look, those things are gonna attack me! Wipe those guys out! Using formation. Okay, so we finished the tutorial, and as you can see, it's a bit tedious, but if this is your first time playing, it is highly recommended that you do this tutorial. But anyways, now that we've got that completed, I guess we'll be actually starting some gameplay, which I'm really excited for. So our first stage is actually going to be Seaside Hill, but um, I'm going to be cutting it here. So see you for the official first episode next time, alright?